Ich bin Schiebe. Because it's like I can only play with one hand. Coming, I'm coming. Oh, sweet Jesus. That's a lot of people. Uh, highest average wins. First up. Frog funny. Hello, frog funny. Please step up. <laughs> let me, let me. <laughs> I. Oh, is he is he a magical girl? Let me put away my hood. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's surely something. If I was grading you on how badly you would mess me up as a child, you would have full score. <laughs> Thank you for the bonus. Game gross. <laughs> I will say this. Warrior of Light turned himself into a frog. Funniest shit I've ever seen. I appreciate it. Thank you, Frog Funny. Oh, man. That's fantastic. All right, let me put that in the spreadsheet. <laughs> okay. What is it? Lady Bustilda? Uh, next up is Lady Bustilda, everyone. Please step forward. Oh my, that's a perfect mount. That is a great pirate cosplay. Glamour, I should say. Oh, drinking ale. You have treasure too? Oh, the sword's good too. And you have your you have your your pirate parrot. Oh man, that's so good. Let me let me let me check your equipment. I had a feeling I didn't need to check for uh, for frog funny. Griffin leather tricone of striking. Mighty jacket of striking. Teco fifty five. I like those. Bone wicca. Choka 55. Oh. See, the gloves and the shoes are. Those are in the same set, right? I'm pretty sure they are. You won't be... I mean, that's a great mount. That is a very good mount for that. The only mount that would be better than the Starbird w would have been uh, the Flying Airship mount. Here's the thing. I've already discussed with the judges 
the maximum items you can have in the same set is is two so you can have two pieces in the same but i'd really prefer not to um we won't you won't be disqualified for that but um if someone receives the same score as you and they've used all unique pieces we'll probably give it to them instead Thank you. Really wonderful glam. I did like it, though. I really liked it. I'll give it... Next up... Are you... Wolfric, are you joining? Wolfric, you come in... No? Okay. How do I do the the target thing? Is it just is it just target command? I've never done it before. Unari, you you unari. Next up is unari Rix. Ooh, what mount? Ooh. Oh, purple is so good. Mm, that's so nice. Oh man, I hate being tall. Let me let me check your book. Oh, let me get this out of the way. Oh, I'm really liking how the the purple and the writing. Yeah, that would help. I'm really liking the looks of everything so far. See, I miss being a chick in this game because I felt like it was more fun to glam. I change a corsage. Bone licka. Collars armlets. Taoist slops. Shoes of casting. Okay, so the main items are all there. I really like the combination of those sleeves and the chest piece. They look they work really well together. Thematically, the color is all there. The corsage and the hair really works well too. It's blue enough that it's matching the hair, but also purple enough that it's working with the outfit. The Kamui mount was a really good shade of purple as well. Yeah, really, really, really good. Uh... Yeah, really wonderful coloring. Thank you. Very much. Oh, a wink. That's an extra point. second they can join midway if you have any friends who want to join but we've already started they can 100 percent join as long as we haven't gotten to the last person yet uh, more people can come no problem um next up will be ellison omnibus oh you're listening thank you I've never seen that before. That's lovely. You know what I really like about this outfit? It's not too crazy with the color. It's not black, it's not white though. People usually either go with a really bright color 
or black or white. It's rare to see someone work with shades of brown. Well, a reddish brown, but it's so nice. Let's see. Gear. Songbird hat. Even mourn. Ooh, the, the squall gloves. Two B leggings. Never can go wrong with those. Bunny chief pumps. See, that's how you know this is a good glam. It's when you pick two of the most ERP-centric items in the game and you don't make them look sexual. But I really like the glam. Very good. Would duel you in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and get destroyed. Thank you very much. Next up. I swear to God, Wolfric, I will punt you across the field. <laughs> Getting in line. Next up. Ophelia. Oh, man. Okay. Ophelia does fire. Sin eaters. You're left, but... What's this emote? I swear, if you do a transforming glam... <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. I'm genuinely impressed. And you even have a chat. Okay. Judges, quick question. Should we judge based on all the items, the first set and the second set? Or should we judge based on the second set only? Oh, hey, bud. Hey, Uber. White, gold, classic combination. Angel wings, that's a flex. Head bandage. Angelic Wings, yes. Claws of the Beast. Replica Elegant, okay. Arisian. Can you uh, pull out your weapon again, Ophelia? Those are some thighs. God damn. Yeah, I really I like the weapon choice as well. The red for me is a bit out of place, but the staff itself is very good. Um now please switch to the first glam. Okay, now we look at that. Princess Peach's Corsage. Adventuring Sweater. Wrist Torg. Southern Sea Skirt. Casual Boots. Impressive. You managed to get two sets with none of them crossing. Oh, someone's raiding with a party of one. Still appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. There's a lot of people talking. I was surprised.
Okay, thank you very much for your time. Just give us a moment to score that. Oh, that's a tough one. I'm going to give it this much. Next is the champion from last time. Will she be dethroned? Lily D. Yo, I already. Edward Elric? What? Is that what you are? Wait, are you talking in FC chat? Because you might be talking in FC chat if you're typing something. It's funny because she's shorter than me too. Oh my god. I just reread this like two months ago. It's like a masterpiece manga. Make your own doors. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, it's Winry. <laughs> oh my god. That was... Oh, that was a genuine... A genuine laugh. Let me let me let me inspect you again. Now that I see this one. Uh... Oh, bring out the Japanese rap. God damn, you are like an S tier glamour. Don't play it too accurately so I don't get DMCA'd by Funimation. I know she's using a MIDI tool, because I mean that's what everyone uses. But how incredible would it be if she was just trying to be like a StarCraft pro player, smashing her keys? But really, that's a clap from me. Man, I'm looking at these scores so far, and I'm either really easily impressed, or Yuki and, and Judy are just really hard to please. <laughs> oh yeah, 
The frog is definitely winning so far. Okay. Next up is Lunaria Luna's Veil. Oh, she's praying. Let's take this. I like the white, the black bunny girl. I've never made a bunny girl, so I've never seen their actual selections before. Cute birthmark. Is that part of the, the like the actual dislike tattoo? Probably. Let's see. Let me get in night and horn. Heirloom tunic. Eden call. Number two type of, okay. Okay, yeah, technically there, the Yorha set and the 2B set are different, so that's fine. Yeah. Forward slash hub dot dot dot. <laughs> oh, the, the little dot is a facial feature option. Ooh, looks good. Yeah, small. Yuki small. Oh, just so you know, Yuki's a trap. Uh, That's a boy Lala. Yeah, white hair, pale skin. You look like you belong on the set of a black pink music video. I like it. I thought the honestly thought the chess piece was something from like an Ishtola set. Seems like something she would wear. Yuki, be careful. Don't no upskirts today, please. We can't afford another lawsuit. Hair piece. I actually really like that. Yeah, I remember she, she's uh, Yuki's dressed like a girl, but really it's a it's a perverted young man right there. So were you going for a nun theme? Or like a priest theme, you know, the whole black and white deal. It's my question. What was your idea behind this clan? So we had Frogman, who's obviously Frog. We have Pri Pirate Lady. We had Sin Eater. We had uh, Edward Elric. Had a couple of other people. Just curious. It doesn't affect your score. I was just thinking of what your inspiration was. If you just thought, hmm, an ignomatic nun. A very attractive ignomatic nun. Cool. Thank you for your time. And if anyone could please answer me, is there a way for me to type someone's name without actually have to type it by putting like, just like target or something? Oh. Oh, lightning storm, lightning storm. Use a speech to text. Oh, hello. Heck, heck. Let's see. Dramatic lightning. Cool. Oh. I can do that. Wait, let me see. Let me see real quick. 
without the space. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Tor, don't be worried. That helps me a lot. Okay. It's appropriate that the uh, ultimate legend comes up and it starts... Uh, the sky starts trying to kill us. Oh, I really like... I really like those pants. Posturing breaches of Fendi? What's offending? Aka Oni Harate? Alexander? Chaos Solarettes. Chaos Solarettes? That's a throwback. Jooms, if you're listening, do you have any uh, mount slash emote that you would like to use? I really like the way this looks. And the absolute flex. That absolute flex. I'm not saying you'll get bonus points, but if you carry me, you'll get bonus points. <laughs> oh no, it killed it. Oh man. Now this is, is a renaissance painting if I've ever seen one. You killed Pikachu. Oh man. Any theme for this? Did you have a... Uh, any idea? Did you just see the chess piece and think, wow, that works? You made the glam for the sword? That's not a wrong answer. See, there's a pyramid of Final Fantasy players. The bottom are mentors. The top are glamours. People who glam and do ultimate tier content for the sake of getting their glam. That's where you are right now. Uh, I'm gonna, I am going to escort you. You may step away. Thank you very much for your time. Oh! Next up is Gnome! I, I simply swipe card on Mog Station. <laughs> Gnome, it's good to see you here. No P P4S? White and red. Scholar. A child after my own heart. Ooh, that works really well with what you're going for. See what you got rocking. Little lady's crown. Not really kingly, but queenly. Academic's coat. Butler's gloves. Okay. Okay, everything's unique. Oh, you missed the little lady thing. <laughs> I did too. That was one of those events where I logged in once and I went, Oh, there was an event going on? Do you have a, uh, a minion? Just let asking in case you do. Oh, whoops.
damn, 31 viewers. If I had enough money, I would do glam contests more if that meant I could get viewers. Oh, some people just stepped out of a wedding, I think. That's awkward. Okay. I like this. It's clean. Different. Rarely anybody glams as a scholar. Especially with the scholar gear. Though I use that coat myself because it looks like I'm a, a general of some sort. I wanna give you I wanna give you a clap. It's a nice clap. Yeah, Lala Lala is cute. Thank you very much, Gnome. Next up, Anathema Lumina. A lot of moon names. Makes sense for the expansion we're in, though. Ooh, you've got the road to 80 buff. Damn. Femro. Mummy. Biker Lady. All black. Leather. Now let me let me examine what you've got going on. Dahlia corsage. We've seen more than one corsage today, which is actually a surprise. Capskin Rider's jacket. I'm I'm getting PTSD throwbacks from running. Shadowbringers, treasure dungeons, and never rolling above a 20 on the cap leather. Koopa trousers. Best man gators. Okay, let me now I'm gonna get a close up look. You've got the ride in arms. But the metal really works with some of the metal workings on that jacket. Is that supposed to be a, a dragon or a lion? I think it might be Bahamut's head. Not quite sure. I was so tempted to stay my blue femro, but then, you know, I've had Catboy from you know, he's my guy. I I had to I had to go back. I do like the way the katana works with your gear. It has the gold, like the pants, silver accents, like your jacket. And of course, it's all black. I like the cloud pattern on that, too. If I could say one bad thing about this uh, glam, it's, the o it's only the fact that it's the band in the back of your hair is red, but you cannot change that. If they would let you change that, that would be pretty good. That's what I think. I have one day I can do a, a glamour contest like Asmongold does his transmog. Where instead of being nice, I'm just mean to everybody. And then at the end I just say, oh, everyone did great. I loved it. Like a roast. Yeah. Oh, the cute little bird. That's a surprise. I didn't even see that. Yeah, I think it's a really solid glam. Also, Femro. Row in general. Very underutilized. Thank you very much. Let me score that. There we go. Next up is Astral. <laughs> Jesus Christ, coming out the gates. Kick me in the face. If I get knocked out, you're going to end up getting a zero for one of the judges. Oh, 
Okay, tell me. Are you... Oh no, Yuki. You knocked Yuki out cold, Astral. Oh, what are we gonna do? Wait, here, I got this. Let me just slap Yuki real quick. Wake up. Astral, if you can hear me, are you cosplaying as somebody? I will actually type it out. Oh, whoops, that's not a trade. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Examine. There we go. Endless Summer. Skyworker Singlet. Molly Benenum. Scion Adventurers. Survival Boots. I've just realized that bunny girls and bunny boys kind of have a slight advantage over the fact that their helmets don't work most of the time. <laughs> so they have one less piece of equipment to worry about. Oh! Yeah, that could be Tifa. Oh, that is Tifa. I completely missed him saying that. Oh, I 100% get it now. I 100% get it. And I just and I played the remake too. Let me look at the details now. This also, you know, a glam contest let you actually appreciate the small details on this equipment that you don't actually ever see. That is a very bright red. Ah, uh, yes. The necklace. Yes. Uh. Had Yuki still playing dead. Tifa from Street Fighter. Uh, look at, anyways, really good job. Now that you told me it was Tifa, I 100% got it. Before, I thought you were cosplaying as something, but I wasn't quite sure if you were doing that or if you were going for another uh, Wolfric and Forsen style Wii Fit. Or uh, ring fit adventure trainer sort of glam. Thank you, Astral. Excuse me, Aos. Go away. Next up is Blake Belladonna, and I know you're in the chat, so why don't you hop on down? Question. Are you Yang from Ruby? Not, er, yeah, Yang. I don't know. I don't know. Just a lot of yellow, so I just assumed it. Oh, wait, you really are? That was a shot in the dark, and I hit. Okay. I haven't watched Ruby since season two. Or three. Whenever she lost her arm, I think. I don't know if that was a thing. Let's see what you've got. Shaded specs. Wait, are you? <laughs> you have the same item equipped as you do glam. That's actually funny. Sign Traveler's coat. Okay. Or gloves, I mean. <laughs> Falconer's bottoms. Great color. Expeditioner's moccasins. I heard you like equipment, so I put a piece of equipment in my piece of equipment so it can be the same equipment. Oh, man. I will say this. It was on point, because I guessed it right away. Even though I see we have next Tweedledee and Tweedledum over there. Let me look at your gear. Hmm. 
The hair works really well. That's very Yang. I like your fists. You can never not appreciate a glow. Yellow, that's another color I don't see too often. The only times I ever see yellow is when people are cosplaying as a chocobo or a fat chocobo. I wish I could see more down, but, you know, the character's too tall. This is where Lala has advantage. Thank you. If I do, if I do forward slash sit. Yes, there we go. Yes, perfect Lala height, but I can't move. Okay, I'm not going to look there. Don't want to. Don't want to get DCMA, DMCA. Thank you very much, Blake. Really appreciate it. Solid, solid Yang cosplay. And for those of you who don't know, Yang is a character from the Rooster Teeth uh, 3D animated show Ruby, created by Monty Um, who passed away. Fun fact. Not his passing, but the creation by Rooster Teeth. Gee, I'll just stop talking. Okay, next is the combination of... I don't know, is this a combo or do we rate them individually? They're tag-teaming it. Panda and Toru. Step... You're together. Okay, so we'll... So I guess the way we'll score... <laughs> Jesus, go get, get... Okay, I guess the way we'll score is we'll... Uh... We'll add your two scores together and divide it by two, and that will be your average. <laughs> See your skit? Yeah, I know exactly what you are. I'm going to punt this Anya out the window, I swear. But I will watch. Oops, wait. <laughs> to go difficulties <laughs> it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a smooth brain glam contest without something going wrong <laughs> oh man okay you know what hut off well actually no I have to have the hut on to see Man, I see that uh, Spy and Family really had some budget cuts this season. Gotta give you guys a hand, though. Hey, Kion, Kion, step forward. You're part of the skit. Come forward, receive recognition as well. Yes, now I clap. Even though you can't see it on stream. Yes, the extra. You may leave now, Kellen. You have received the clap. Now get out of my way. So we have Anya in Anya's mom. I've never seen an episode or read Spy and Family. I just know the small girl with pink hair who makes a weird face and then the mother. So first, let's examine Toru. Well, I'll examine Toru, I should say. I keep seeing Waku Waku. Oh, the 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 first round champion saying you should have used forward slash sulk and then used the dragoon backflip. Take that into advice. Let's see. Uh, v true head dancers headdress. Oh wait, actually, wait. Yeah, the headdress. Raincoat. 
Time for his new gloves. Far Eastern beauties, blah, blah. Royal has my gloves. And then let me just check Panda and then I'll examine you guys closer. Time for his new hat, yes. Daphnerian. Wait. Panda, we're married. Does that make me her father? Nah. Oh, guess he cheated on me. All right. I don't dare show my face. It, it'll, it's cursed. Uh, let me do forward slash sit so I can actually look at the stuff. Okay, a little, a little too close. Oh god, I feel so bad for the people who are, who got married and were doing a glam contest. I didn't think about the eternal bonds. I didn't think about the eternal bonds at all when I was planning this. Last time we were lucky, I guess. Oh man. Very simple equipment, but I, I mean, I understand those selection. I mean, you look like the characters, I'll give you that. You, right on the money. The moment when one of you guys said, we have a skit, and I turn and I see this little girl right here with the pink hair, I knew exactly who you guys were. Question is, do we stop for a second, run over there, and ask them if they want to join a glam contest? <laughs> okay, thank you guys very much. You guys can step away now. Oh, Gilgamesh, get out of here. Sorry, Betty, but we're going to skip you for a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Plesh, you can step forward. I think Astral put on a few pounds and had a sex change. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we're gonna skip Betty just for a second because I've I put my eyes focused on this one and I it won't be fair if I judge Betty on what I'm reacting to. <laughs> oh my god. If Tifa was designed to be accurate to her strength, this is this is what a prime perfect human looks like. True beauty. Oh my god. Let's see. Emperor's new hat. Skyworker singet. Chrysarium gauntlets. Southern Sea Skirt, Spring Shoes, Level 30, do you, I have to, can I like, did you make a new character for the sake of this? 
Oh, man. This is... This is peak. This is pure Final Fantasy through and through. This is that Giga Chat meme. Oh man, that genuinely, that genuinely got me. And it's funny because I don't actually have to stare at the the gear so much because I've seen <laughs> I've seen this before. <laughs> oh my god. You Flesh, thank you very much for that. I, I appreciate that. If you don't win the glam contest, you won't have spot in my heart. Oh, that that made me just uh Okay, now it's Betty's turn. Okay, that's what you're going to go for. Just let me quickly show... Michelle, and you can still join the Glamour Contest because we're almost done. We have three more people after this, but if anyone else wants to step up, anyone who is watching, anyone in the chat who's just listening, if you come into the Sanctum of the Twelve, you can enter. Okay, let me examine the gear. Type 2B goggles, okay. Okay, your huh. Hemp and dress gloves. Green skirt. Altered thigh boots. Okay, so you're not wearing any of the same set, which is actually good. Very clean glam, I will say that. You look like... Wait, unsheath your weapon. Yes, please. Thank you. I was just about to say. You look like a battle priest. It's very clean. Very simple. All black. Pink hair. I'm not a big fan of the pink hair, but that's your nat your that's your actual hair. That that's not for the glam contest. Oh, I like the embroidery on the back. Is that the hem? Let me let me sit down real quick so I can actually see the hem of that skirt. Oh, it's a little worn for wear. Like you've seen it in some battle. Betty, what was your theme with this? I don't think Betty's listening. I'm assuming nope and nope. Okay, cool. But it's really clean. I really enjoy it. I like it. Probably if I was like going, uh, I would. Maybe if I was going like White Mage or Dark Knight or something, I would try and aim for something similar. Well, 
Let me mark my score. Next up, the Zenith Crow with an E. Shocking, apparently. Let's see what you've got. Oh, it's not your true glamour. Ooh. I always love a good animation. You remind me of a Final Fantasy XII judge enemy. One of the judges from Ivalus. Titanium Mask of Scouting. Law Order. Okay. Tech 055. Casual talk about ERPing in the background. Okay, oh, none, of the set, oh, none of the pieces are the same. Oh, and to anyone else who's listening, if you hop into the Smooth Brains Discord um, before the end of the Glam Contest, if you go to the announcements channel, you can react to the uh, post of winning a copper of ghost runner and that will be announced at the end of this too as well as the next contest though it won't be a glamour contest yet okay, so I like those blades I really like how those daggers look different points of the fiend can you draw those again Unsheath your weapons again. Thank you. God, I love that transition. Second, I got a message from somebody. my wife sending me a message probably telling me to shut up I really like this the black and it's not it's not really gold it's like a faded brass you kind of remind me from a character from Endwalker who is in the cold I will not say more than that to not spoil anyone listening But it's very different than everything else we've seen tonight. If anything, I would say those weapons work much better sheathed than they do unsheathed. Like their unique shape when they're in their holster is very cool. Let me see, see if I can... Nope. Black, brass. It's a very cool use of these pieces of equipment mixed together. And I really do like how we saw a lot of the uh, Stormblood storyline uh, Imperial suits of armor today. Those are those pants I wear quite often on a lot of my sets. Any mount or minion? Oh, 
Oh. That's a flex. That's the hardest one of the three to get. That's the one from Frontlines, yeah? Jesus. Zenith, I wouldn't mind if you hopped on my account and there'd be that goddamn. Do me a favor, take a take a little flight. Fly. That's just great to look at. Let me get out of first person so I can zoom in like this. Looks so good. Thank you very much, Zenith. Yeah, for nosing that this is really good though. Okay. Next up is Lesser Panda. Saw you in the FOE uh Discord the other day and you linked the image, so I really appreciate it. Oh, hello. I'm happy to be here and and you talked much like this or my turn. Oh a demon. Bathe in my glory, mortals. Yo what? What is going on? Okay, I saw Bahamut and Midgar somewhere. Oh, are you like a dragon priest? A dragon fiend? Evil witch? I, I don't know what the theme is, but like, I like it. Oh, oh, there's the congratulations on your wedding. <laughs> hey, anyone who's listening and is here, you should type out congratulations for those people who have to deal with our harassment. see bone with a hat yeah i know that you can call tunic revel keeper bunny chief thighs demonic boot tie boots <laughs> thank you for typing out the congratulations <laughs> oh man that's so good i like the feathering of the gear on the on the shoulders. Honestly, I maybe I'm maybe I'm stupid, but I personally like the set better without that staff. I think it, I think sheathed looks a lot better. I feel like the glow of your weapon is actually taking away from the aspects that make this gear look good. Fat cat look away. Oh, whoops, a bit of my chat is peeking out. Oopsies. Thank you, Blake, for whispering to that to me. And just, you know, that's actually two, I have two chat boxes. I like the orange. I like the boots. belts it's a bit wild and I like that and I don't mean wild as in put together I mean wild as in like beastly but refined one second There, 
let me just ask maybe mount or menu whoops i mean you already have a minion Okay. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't just an entrance thing. I do like when you snap your fingers to do your summoning. That's a nice touch you put on it. These are your familiars, I'm assuming. Thank you. I'm typing out my score for... Yeah, I typed out my score for this one. Snaps fingers and then blows a horn. <laughs> Next up is Beat Star Kalem. Going for that Noctis, Noctis Lucius Kalem look. Much gunbreaker. Very wow. Let me check the gear. Scion bandana. Rebel coat. Street handler. Oh, just four embrace. Okay, none of it's the same. Cool. I feel like, and this might be an insult, I feel like I see this glam in Limsa every day. <laughs> but that's, I mean, but it just means it's a very good glam. I mean, the Rebel Coat does a lot of the work. It does the heavy lifting of this glam because it's such a large piece of equipment. But I mean, it looks nice. So I want to see if I can get a good look at the on blade. <laughs> it's a nice looking gun blade. I'll give you that. It's very nice. But, oh, Yuki's dead again. Boots. You you definitely look like you've come out of Bosja. Oh, and you have a little Gaia to match your color theme. And, yeah, and that really nice bike that I want off the MOG station, but I keep forgetting exists until I see someone with it. Bonus points for running Yuki over with your bike. It's very good. Very fitting. Very clean. Anything you want to say? I'm surprised that so far today we haven't seen a bad glamour. And we've seen some cursed ones, but we've not seen any that are truly bad. I'm going to assume that means no. Well, then. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> when I was born. That's edgy. Okay. We have an ed edge lord. All right. Last but not least, we have Gene, the ultimate legend. You have so many ultimate legends in FOE. I really need to start doing cool stuff. That's a little choco chick. I do like you have your companion out. Happy hatchling. I swear if you if you get on a fat chocobo, that'll be so perfect. Yeah, your dad can join you on stage. Frog funny. <laughs> He's here. Okay. Oh god. Oh no. Where is this going? Oh, God. Is he dead? Did he have a heart attack cheering for you? Is the mud pie the fact that he pooped his pants when he died? Oh my god. <laughs> Get up a frog doctor. A frocter? Or a dog? This is the longest and most elaborate of the sketches. Where'd he go? I looked away for like two seconds. Oh. He went to get milk. <laughs> oh my god. I don't I don't know what's more crazy. Oh disconnected <laughs> disconnected I don't know if here's the thing, I don't know if this is part of the sketch or not. Oh oh Judica, do you know if this is supposed to happen or if this was just terrible timing? <laughs> um, for all your Flames of Eorzea listeners, uh, one of my FC mates just said, I'm pretty sure FOE stands for Frogs of Eorzea. <laughs> the dad's back and the child's gone. <laughs> is I don't know. Are am I being gaslighted right now? Is this part of the skate or is he just doing this on purpose to waste my time? I have no idea. Is this? I'm so confused. Wait. <laughs> She's back. I don't know. Is this real?
I'm shook right now. I'm just taking a screenshot to have this memorized. Jim Oh my god, Gene K. Snow shows up to Glam Contest, waits to be last person, has a 10 minute sketch, doesn't get Glam graded, leaves. What a giga chat. <laughs> oh my god. What do I even say to that? Seriously, waits to... <laughs> And I don't even know if the DC was part of the sketch. Yes, we are. Don't worry, we are judging. We have a Google Docs sheet with all the scores to the side. Oh my god, that was... Okay. Uh, dad's coming. <laughs> well, no, dads just go. They don't come back. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know what to give that last one, so I'll just put a default score. Like... Okay, let me just quickly discuss with the judges real quick. Thank you. Please just be patient and wait. Uh... Please wait a few minutes. And of course, of course when it's silent and I need something in the background. There's nothing. Oh, oh. she came back from Chimpkin, I guess. Lee Lee Lee, can you play uh can you play some some tunes while we score? If you're in the uh if you're in the chat. Okay, while we're scoring, can you guys all line back up to where you were before? And I'm opening up that window for the scoring. Applause. 
Terus I, whoops, I completely ruined what you did for there, so let me just, there we go. And then, really quick, we will take the special case of Panda and Toru. So this equals this plus this. And then this equals this divided by two. Wait, do we have... Oh my god. Do we have a three-way tie for first place? <laughs> we have a three-way tie for first, so that means... The three people in first are gonna have to possibly death roll? I'm not paying first place to everybody. We're gonna figure out a way to... You know what? This will be some, uh... This will be some crowd interaction. Actually, yes, we'll do it this way. Okay, we will announce the... The, the three finalists. And from there, the three finalists. Third place will be the chosen by the crowd. And after third place is decided. Second and... Actually, you know what? What sounds better? What sounds better, guys? Let, let me know. Do you guys want to pick third, then pick first? Or do you want to just have them death roll? my gill? No, thank you. I do not want to empty my gill. Split the gill. Oh, split the gill equally isn't a terrible choice, but... <sighs> okay, actually, you know what? The best way, I think, would be to announce the finalists and then have them choose how they would like to do it. That would be the most democratic of decisions. And let me we'll just double check with the judges. Sakura, Nom san and last but not least, Zenith Crow. 
Jooms, Gnome, and Zenith, please step forward. And don't worry, uh, participants, we'll have a very, 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 very small, uh, uh, very, very small, uh, participation reward. Okay, uh, Jooms, Zenith, and Gnome, where's Gnome? Is, did they, did they end up, did they end up going into P4S? Oh my god, it's, oh my god, two, two glamour contests in a row where a winner ends up getting into a savage, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, where's Gnome? Where's Gnome? Where's Gnome? Behind Hunk Tifa? Gnome, get your butt over here! I couldn't see you! I couldn't see you behind Thick Tifa! <laughs> Let me send a tell. Maybe they're like AFK. Okay, it was a three-way tie for first, and because of that, we have to decide. Split the prize. Death roll. Or crowd picks third, then first. Bad affair, shut up. <laughs> Boiled egg. No, no, so... So, Gnome says fine with any. Okay, so Jooms gets the pick. So Zenith. Jooms gets to the side. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> split okay because of that you guys will split the prize well isn't that nice where's my where's my booze where's my booze and that and then the, the alcohol I can't do basic math, and I don't remember what I promised for the prize. Let me check the poster real quick. Uh, images. Uh, buh, 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 buh. General no, no, announcements. There we go. First prize, 2 million, plus 1.5, plus 1, divided by 3. No, no, that's, yep, yeah, uh-huh, okay. Sorry, my smooth brain. So everyone, all three of you guys will get 1.5 million gil. That seems acceptable to you three.
Yep, okay. So I will trade it from smallest to largest. First, here's the one mil. And then I have to trade up 500k again. No. No. Thank you. Then trade again for 500k. You are just slightly shorter than Joom Sakura. Congratulations. Please congratulate the winners. And this marks the announcement of the next two smooth brain contests glamour contest well one's a glamour contest um next month there will be another glamour contest the announcement will come eventually next month's t theme is themeless except it's a group glam you can have more than one person a minimum of two, a maximum of, we'll say, three to five. Um, in a group glam. Prizes will be announced later. And there will also be a screenshot contest next month. Winner gets one million gil. So let me just type that out. Next month is a group glamour contest. Two to five players. Per group details coming later as well as a screenshot contest and let me check the discord to see if anyone else so let me just uh announce the winner of the giveaway, the game giveaway. Let's see, let me check that out. Let's see these reactions. And I'm spinning the wheel right now and seeing who wins the, the game. Jesus Christ. Okay. The w <laughs> hey, guess what, Gnome? You also won a copy of a video game. You win a copy of, <laughs> of Ghost Runner. Man, what a what a day for them to be, that, them, them to have Jesus. And because of that, I will actually also announce the next game I'm going to be giving away. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot my Uno Momento. Also, anyone who is watching from a. Uh, 
a country that celebrates it, uh, Eid Mubarak. My father actually just messaged me about that. I'm quickly logging in to see what game I'm giving away. I should have been prepared. I know I should have. There we go. Don't save. The next game giveaway will be a copy of Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, that game will be given away on the Discord or in during the Glamour contest, depending on how I'm feeling. It will be given away on the same day. Um, I mean, you guys can let me know. Maybe you'll FOE if you guys can tell the Judica if you guys are interested. Um, maybe we do it through the stream chat instead. Um, it's on the Smooth Brains Discord. I'll actually link that right now. And that will be announced in the Discord in just a moment. Um, anyone who participated and didn't win, could you line up in the middle? And then the three participants who did win, if you're still here, please line up uh, in the front. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, and I need to count you guys real quick so I can divide this number up evenly. If you, if anyone left, then uh, you get a very small amount of money. It's like get taxi fare. Just waiting for the last person to come in. So that's one, two. <laughs> no. Jooms, you can't double dip. No double dip in Jooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. get anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, yeah, don't worry about um, fourteen. Okay, so that will be twelve for everyone. Okay. So. A very small amount of gill. This is a I was supposed to have more, but I lost it. You can blame Betty for death rolling me a million gil. Think of it like a quest reward. You just beat the glamour dragon and received a couple of... Yeah, well, Betty, you know I have terrible luck and you always agree to my stupid planning. Ooh, that's a nice cami glam if that's what that is.
I'm going down on training, and then we'll take a screenshot. Ooh, I don't know. Anya's a child. Should I just give all of it to the mom? <laughs> Please don't wah wah me. Panda, take Panda, take this. This is your share. God, my wife. <laughs> giving me <laughs> why oh my god we got the two tifas <laughs> this is <laughs> this is what is this is like the one of those before and after diet infomercials you see the Tifa on the right is before doing the 60-day diet. The Tifa on the left is after. <laughs> Excuse me, Plesh. Please take it. Plesh, please take the money, Plesh. Take the money, Plesh. Okay, I'll, I will get back to you, Plesh. Thank you, thank you for a hundred, hundred. Oh, whoops. Wait a second. No, 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 that's right, that's right. Okay, my brain is too smooth. Wait. You, you, your dad's gonna take more money. Whoops. He's gonna get you milk. <laughs> Frog, thank you. Jeez, why do you, why do you have so many frogs? should be yes okay okay flesh please take the money i will try again i'll wait 30 seconds and if you don't accept thank you okay that was your very insignificant very tiny i'm sorry that i didn't have more to give you guys amount now uh yuki on, don't punch me. Yuki and uh, Judica, if you guys would step with the uh, the contestants as well, and we can take a screenshot. A group screenshot. I'm gonna sit so I don't block anyone. Even though. Whoops. Whoops. Let me. And I could do a G pose, but I'm not going to. Frogman, get back in there. Oh god, I'm just going to take a couple of screenshots at an angle. Anyone G-posing, I will wait. Blake Belladonna's DC. <laughs> oh, Thanos snapped. What, what the hell just happened? Did someone just fly across my screen? What? Oh, he's Dragoon jumping. 
<laughs> oh my god. Fo FOE is crazy. Frogs of Eorzea. That's insane. Oh, let me go ahead and send Gnome their link. Head into smooth brains. No, 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 where's no? Okay, I sent Gnome their gift. I really want to thank you guys all for coming. Really appreciate it. And to you guys who watched, appreciate that as well. I don't know how entertaining a Claimer contest can be. Really special shout out to FOE, Frogs of Eorzea. You guys really add some life to the contest. Um, please give a round of applause for Yuki and Judy. They did a really good job judging, and I really appreciate them for helping me out. I apologize for the poor lighting quality on my webcam. Uh, my wife decided it was sleepy time, and... Uh, turn off the light midstream. Yuki slaps me. I appreciate that as well. So yes, um, the next one will be next month, probably around the same time, 10th to 10 p.m. Um, if you guys could give some feedback either to myself, to Yuki, or to Judy, um, and in turn it will come back to me as to if the time is too late, if it's too early, uh, if the prizes should be greater. Um, but if that happens, we'll need to do some more fundraising, so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, thanks for coming. That will be pretty much, that's pretty much the whole contest. Please direct all feedback. Yuki and Yudi and myself. As to date, time, WA as in like Washington State, Jesus, whoever's screaming right now is sounding super sexual. Oh, and I am going to, I will be posting in the announcements chat the giveaway right now, um, at smooth brain and at not so smooth next month's giveaway will be a copy of Star Wars Squad. Runs. Please react with an emote and it will be given away during next month's glamour stream. Who is making that noise?
upload a file, upload a file, go to my desktop now. Upload a file, upload a file. It's really filthy. Okay, that has been posted. Uh, you know what, Kion? Because I have a little bit of extra. Um, here. For participating. Oh, I'm glowing. Western Australia. Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was I was so confused. Yeah, I'm in Kyoto time. And I work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and I get home at 9.30. So, I, I've been out of the house for 14 hours, sat down and did this glam contest. And I'll say announcements for the next contests will happen in the next few days. Yeah. Yeah, the announcements um, for next month's contest will happen very soon, probably on my next day off, because it will be a group glam, meaning you will need more time to work out with your partners on what to do. Um, if you have any sketches, that would be helpful. Because as we saw, you can really invoke some emotions. Especially the frog family. Truly unique characters in their own mind. You can invoke confusion. I, I, I have to ask if... Gene, Gene K. Snow, uh, if you're in the chat, can you tell me, was the Z DC intentional or like was that an accident? Because it was so it, it befitting of what was happening, I really can't tell. It's a secret. God damn it. God damn it. But really, congratulations to, to Gnome, Zenith, and Jooms. Though Jooms went to bed, I'm pretty sure. Is that a Walla making that noise? Is that you, Lady Grace? You have the voice of, like, a woman that's three times your size. God, I don't like this at all. Oh, Jesus Christ, with the naked wallas! No! Get out of my way. Oh no. So let me just type in the chat. Please give feedback to myself, Yuki, or Judica. Oh, and uh, I've set some aside of my own personal money to give to the other to the the judges for taking their time because to be a judge means you can't participate and that's not a hundred percent fair. So. so that is a thank you for taking your time out and being a judge.
really though. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Yuki's not. Yuki's not in the chat. So she doesn't know. Okay. If anyone's interested in their scores, I can DM them to you if you would like, or I can just shout them out. It's not really a big deal. I'm not someone. And I won't tell you the personal scores. I could tell you the like the total score out of 300. That was interesting. Our, our highest scored was a, a three-way tie. After that, it was... Let me see. The next highest after that was two points under. The lowest total score. The total lowest realistic score was 69. Nice. My mic is a bit soft. Oops. Hello. Well, my wife is also trying to sleep, so I'm not trying to talk too much. But I will go. I will figure that one out. No, thank you for hopping in and watching. Yours, uh, Anna, Anna. Oh God, don't move. Uh, Anathema, Luminar. Let me go to yours. Your total score was 78. Average. That was your average. Your highest was... A... Your highest... Two highest were, seven, were 278s and a 77. I think... I think, unfortunately, the the, oran the, the red kind of didn't work out. Um, I'm not sure. I liked it. I really did. Um, I didn't want to give anyone above a 90 unless I was truly, like, jaw-droppingly, you know, wowed by it. Um, so that was pretty much 89 was, you know, going to be my limit for things that were not in my alley. But I, I did like it a lot. I think you made it work. White and black. Classic. Uh, Ophelia, your total was an 81. With your highest being an 85 and your lowest being a 78. Um, that's another reason why three judges are important. Because maybe what one person likes a lot, another person doesn't really like so much. I really enjoyed your transition. Wasn't expecting that. Honestly, when you first walked up and you were in all pink, I was kind of, uh, I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of simple. And then you brought out your sketch and I thought, okay, okay, I can see where she's going with this. You need to hear six hundred percent to hear me properly. What can that be? Because I'm checking the decibel rating on the uh, mic mixer, and it's reaching pretty high. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. You did all of it this morning? That's impressive, though. Hello? How is, is this any better or not better at all? Your score, Lady Bustilda, <laughs> oh, Lady Bustilda, was, uh, total was an 81. 
Your high was an 88. Your low was a 76. Personally, I really loved your glam. I really liked it a lot. It's really unique. You rarely see pirates these days. I think if they had a, like a, a parrot minion, that would be like top tier right there. Jesus Christ, the naked Lala fells dancing in the side. <laughs> Till C swallow all. Really, really good though. I really appreciate it. Was Subaru named Subaru? Is that Gnome? Is Subaru a Gnome? No, it's not Gnome. Lily. Ah, oh, hi, Lily. Yours was an 85. Yours was uh, after the three people in third and first place. Yours was the next highest. Your highest was a 90. Your lowest was an 82. I will try and figure out eventually why my mic was so low. I have no idea why it is. Volumes maxed at 102. But I really liked your glam, uh, Lily. Uh, I thought it was really creative and it was really, really on point. Uh, for Blake, yours was... Your total was a, a 77 as well. As uh, earlier, as we mentioned, someone else had a 77. Um, your highest was a 79. Your lowest was a 74. I really liked it. I thought, even though I know it's in the character, I wasn't that into oh bye lady bustilda um i wasn't that into the uh sunglasses on the face even though i know that's her character um it just didn't really fit with me i feel like if it was if this contest was a themed glamour contest like a cosplay or something um that would have probably done better but i do think it's a solid outfit in general like if i wasn't familiar with ruby I wouldn't assume you're cosplaying a character. I actually like it. I think it works well. One, there was one person we didn't score, and that was Frog Funny, because it was just too cursed of an outfit to, to put a proper number on. Yeah, and then, and then Thick Tifa, uh, we managed to score Thick Tifa, but uh, but we also had to take points off for being so cursed. Your dad, your dad by himself technically scored a one <laughs> out of a hundred. Anyone listening, do me a favor. I'm going to change one setting on my mic and tell me if it helps. Hello? One, two, three, one, two, three. Though I can't, I turned off the noise suppression, so maybe that would, that would affect it. You hear a C? Okay, I turned that back on. What would that be? Well, thank you guys for letting me know the, the quality, because I'm trying to increase the quality of the stream each time. Stream, uh, stream labs, increase mic volume.
Oh, I can add a gain filter? That's possible? What? No, it's probably because I actually uh, made a couple of videos for different games, like uh, Rune Factory 5. I played that, and I ended up finding a bug where you could place furniture closer together by breaking it. And I made a video, and someone commented, like, thanks for the video, really helped out. But I had to put my volume up to 100% to hear you. Okay, we, we will we will test this out real quick. If I if I do this, does this affect it? Oh God, hello. Does this affect it at all? Too loud now, or good, or what? You sound louder, but not too loud. Okay. Oh, one second. Holy, it's loud. It works. No, no, I need to turn it down. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You must have turned it up. Yo, what is that? What is that helmet? Oh, my God. Leave me and my son alone. Oh, I knew it was Ruzel. I was like, oh, there's only one person I know with the 50 million gill mount. Okay, so let me go back to the stream real quick. Um, just let me know in stream. I'm going to, from where it is now, do you guys think that's good? And then I'm going to raise it more and tell me if that's too much. So I'll start by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'll switch it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Too loud? Decent? Holy sheet. Blake, let me guess, too loud? Ah, go back. First one, okay, so like... One, two, three, four, five, six. It was this one is the best one? Okay, cool. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yep, so I will... My next day off is the 14th, so probably either the 14th or the 20th, I will announce the true details of the next Glamour contest, the screenshot contest, um, uh, dates, times, prizes, anything else? Am I thinking of? Oh, and I'll upload this stream um, slightly edited down, and then I'll upload that to YouTube. So, really, thanks everyone for coming. Thanks for watching. These were the most viewers I've had in my stream literally ever. So, that was kind of a shock, and I appreciate it. Um, thank you again to all the participants, the viewers, uh, the judges, and the winners. I will be cutting off the stream in three, two, one.